awesome rider review. Hey YouTube, it's Awesome Rider here with my review of the Imaginex Morphin Megazord from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It's what it's called on the box is Morphin Megazord, but we all know it's just, you know, the Megazord from MMPR. So if you can't tell, this is like a way different setup than my normal reviews. I have to be in this sort of larger area because, well, look at this thing. Um, so it's going to be a bit different. You're actually probably going to see me on camera, so I apologize for my face in advance, but this is a really unique review to sort of finagle around. So I'm going to sort of give a zoomed in look at this guy from here, and then I'm going, I'm going to have an accent. No, uh, I'm going to go up there and be able to show you the features. So yeah, apologize for my face. All right, but before we get started with that, um, I just want to mention that it comes with two figures. You get a little Imaginex Red Ranger figure, which is essentially very similar to the one from the individual packs. I think it's a slightly different colored, but um, it's just like those other ones. You have in and out articulation around here. You can move his legs, move his head. He doesn't come with a weapon or anything. So you get the Red Ranger here, and you get the Black Ranger figure as well. Now, one thing that's really disappointing is on the box, they advertise both of these guys as being the Gold Shield versions, you know, using Green Ranger's shield, but uh, nobody has seen him with that, like physically, That's uh, so it's only on the box, which is really a huge disappointment because A, it would have been cool to have Gold Shield figures for both of these, and assuming you could take it off, you could give it to Green Ranger, so that's kind of a disappointment. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, also, it comes, uh, excuse me, it comes with a variety of missiles, which I'll show you where some of them go, and uh, little power coin disc launchers, which I'll also show in a minute. So there's that. So this guy is hugely impressive. Uh, just looking at him, he's pretty damn cool looking. I mean, you have little bits up there, like you see the little pad for the rangers and stuff, which are for the part of the playability, and you can see some of the mechanisms for it underneath there. But um, other than that, you know, Detail-wise, um, he's pretty good looking, I have to say. They got pretty much all the paint where it needs to be. I mean, I don't have a huge problem with the way it looks at all. I think it looks pretty cool. He looks a bit more stylized than the regular Imaginex Zords, which are honestly pretty close to what they look like um, on the show, but this one has a bit more of a stylized look, but honestly, that's fine. I think it's just really kind of a neat looking piece for that. All right, so uh, I will have to do a back zoom at some point because there's features on the back, but for now, we're just going to cut quickly to me being over there. All right. Hello. I apologize for my face yet again. So in this review, you will see things such as my knee, my hands, my nerd hat, in case you forgot I was a nerd because I was reviewing this. Anyway, so uh, just to show off the features, I kind of have to do this. So, um, as I showed you, there's a little pad up here which a ranger can go on, which can be slightly annoying for, like, you know, look purposes, but also it's kind of neat in the sense that it kind of represents, spoiler alert, his eyes light up. Thanks, spoiler alert. Um, that his, uh, it, I'll have to train of thought because of the lights. It kind of represents those cool moments in the show, which happens in a variety of the series where the ranger gets out and stands on there. But when you twist it, boom, look at that. This pops open, which is this little feature thing, red's falling off, you're drunk, you're, you're out of here. Okay, so this pops open, which opens up uh, several different features. Up here, there's two little missiles right here, which uh, you put in there. And if I can get my hand back here, there's a little uh, button back here. So you can launch them. Boom. Launched at you. Launch the other one. Boom. So that works. Um, and then right here, I'll be able to show the coins off in a minute, but you get all six power coins for the Core 6 Rangers. Um, they're double-sided, so they have a design on both. Um, and they launch from right here, so let me reach around and boom boom coming at you boom 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 and boom and I'll pick those up shortly and I'll be able to just give you a quick look at their designs when I go back on the other side but so you can do all that which is very neat um, and then put it back in there and whenever you move his head his eyes light up I'm sure you can see that which is pretty neat um, also, just a quick note, not about the thing, but I apologize if the lighting's funny. I had to do a really weird lighting. I got the spotlight pointing at me in a window. I couldn't do my usual setup, so I think it's pretty okay, but I apologize if the lighting is lesser than it usually is. All right, so those are those features. Light up head. Uh, this comes out. Um, Articulation-wise, like I just showed you, he can move his head, which is cool. Um, his arms here at the shoulder don't move, but you can bend them right here. And this little hand pops up, so you can be like, nice to meet you, Mr. Megazord. No, but you can put a variety of kind of interesting weapons in there. It doesn't hold it very well, but you can do some kind of funny stuff. It would have been really cool if he at least came with the power sword, maybe the Mastodon shield, but that would have been really impressive. 
So um, like it leaves it open to hold stuff, but you really can't, but uh, still neat. And he also can move at the waist. He's kind of hitting the backboard here, but you can move at the waist there so you can dance with him. I don't know, but still kind of neat. Okay, so there's two other little pads here to put rangers, so I'm not going to fully put them on there, but this is how a ranger would look sitting on this knee. Uh, so you can do that for this one. Actually, I'm going to have to hold them up. For this one, when you twist it, when you twist it, I'm just going to show. Come on. The, why isn't it doing it? You're embarrassing me, Mr. Megazord. The, the triceratops, oh, there we go. You push it. I'm an idiot. Okay, you push it, and the triceratops mouth opens. You can see back there, I don't know if you can see, there's a little jail thingy. It's like a putty villain jail. When I do a back pan, you'll be able to see it, but rawr. So you can do that. So that's not a twist one. Everything else twists. Now for this one, when you twist it, pops open another little missile thingy. There's a little thing there. That landed in a box. That was impressive. So you got that feature going on there. So all kinds of neat little stuff to do with it. Um, I'm going to turn him around. I'll probably cut here in a minute to me just giving a pan of the back. Um, but I'll show it more. But up here there's another little place to put a ranger so you can be looking through the eyes. Uh, you can obviously put a ranger right here on the mechanism you use to fire the coins. Uh, so the ranger is meant to be there. Um, right here, which I'll be able to show in a minute, there's a little elevator. So you can put a ranger there. And you cannot see it without me doing a zoom. Uh, but there's a little picture of Zordon right here, right in the Megazord's bottom. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just quickly cut to me being by the camera to give you a little okay, look so at the back. Okay, so this looks the same as it did before, except I'm not over there. But just to give you a look, see there's the back, you can put a little figure. Uh, there's where the little dude goes. Um, if you can see there, it's kind of hard to see because of the way I have to zoom. But there's a picture of Zordon right there. Uh, looked like I was giving him the finger, which is neat, but it's kind of an odd place for Like, I don't know where else they would put it, but I don't know. And then down there on the floor, this little cage here, it opens up, you can pull it out, and you can put, like, putties in there, you can put rangers in there if they've gone evil. Really, uh, whatever you choose to do there, uh, you can do that. So that's kind of neat. It's kind of an all-around fun little playset. All right, all right back I'm over back there. over here. There's not a whole lot left to do, just a couple quick things. Um, the little power coins from earlier, you can see them. They each have a symbol. There's Triceratops. And then on the other side, it's also a Triceratops, so you can like trick people with a double-sided coin. Pterodactyl, Mastodon, Dragonzord, Tyrannosaurus, and Sabertooth Tiger. So cool, cool, right? And then probably really not that interested in that, but in addition to the missiles I fired, you get four extra ones. In case you lose them. Okay, so now the very last thing I want to do here is just for a quick size comparison. I happen to have this guy here because his recording day is the same as the Megazords, but here's Tokyo Rainbow from Russia Sentai Tokyo, which is a pretty tall mech since it was one of the last uh, formations, and this guy still towers above him. So this guy is a significant size. Um, so yeah, that gives you an idea. All right, so that is about the it. Honestly, I really like this guy. See, we're friends. We're just like my arm around you. No. Um, I really like him. I know there's a lot of MMPR fatigue going on um, in general and stuff. Yes, I am sitting Indian style. It's more comfortable. I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of MMPR fatigue, and I totally get that. But something like this is just neat. Regardless of any fatigue, I always really did like the Megazord design. So, um, from a collector's standpoint, this is just a really neat item to have. Um, like, I hate to say display piece, but it kind of is an impressive display piece. Like, if you have an MMPR display or Power Rangers display of any kind, if you can find a place for this, it's just a really impressive, neat-looking piece. Um, Paint-wise, it honestly looks good. It's a smidge stylized, but it's just really impressive and cool-looking. Now, for kids, it's even better. Like, he's sitting here as an adult collector and fan, I'm impressed by how, uh, big this thing is and how it's just kind of really cool. I can only imagine for a kid how impressive it must be because for me, if I'm looking at this thing saying, wow, this is a really big toy, I can only imagine like for kids. And out of all the Imaginex stuff I've taken a look at so far, I think it has the most playability. I can see the Zords being fun. I think the figures by themselves are kind of boring for kids, but this has just a ton of stuff to do. You got this compartment here, it pops out. You got missiles, you got coin launchers. Uh, you got gimmicks, the legs with the little, uh, you know, garage here, which you can't see. Uh, the missile here. On the back, you have the elevator. You have the little jail. Um, just his general size for you know, if kids want to set up a battle, it's just there's a ton of stuff to do for kids. So honestly, uh, I really like this thing. It is a bit pricey. It's around 60 bucks. But when you're considering the size of everything, um, 
I kind of get it, but honestly, I recommend checking this out for, for your kids or for collectors alike. I think it's actually really neat. I was really surprised at how impressed I was with this thing. Um, it's just really cool. My only real negatives about it is I wish it came with like a sword and shield. Maybe they didn't do it for safety reasons, I'm not sure, but yeah, just a really impressive thing, whether you're looking for a unique display piece for your MMPR collection or whether you're looking for something fun for your kid, it's just an all-around fun time. But anyway, that's about it. Until next time, make sure you check out the crazy podcast at writersrangesrambles.com. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I apologize for my face again. Stossom Rider, signing out.